you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are featuring R. Kelly. We have been well aware that John Legend and R. Kelly have not been in good terms ever since Legend took sides in the R. Kelly case. But no one imagined it could get to the level where John Legend could openly declare how happy and excited he is, that R. Kelly is finally in prison. According to John Legend, R. Kelly is right where he deserves to be, and he hopes he lives to die in prison. Meanwhile, like you already know, John Legend may not be the only artist that has come out to pin R. Kelly to the wall, but he is certainly the first to use this kind of approach. Expressing how much joy he feels for the colleague's misfortune. That, in the ears of R. Kelly fans is so heartbreaking and cannot be taken as just another trivial matter. While R. Kelly may be in jail, but that does not mean he is no longer the person you once knew legend. It's highly likely that R. Kelly could have played a great role in inspiring and paving the way for younger artists like John Legend. A little respect therefore, would not be too much to ask of John. Some offended fans demand that he comes out to make a public apology to Kelly, something he is not ready to do he says. According to legend, his position on the R. Kelly situation is firm and final. He says he was in his right senses when he decided to participate in the surviving R. Kelly docuseries, a Dream Hampton production. And that among the things he has said, there is nothing he feels is in any way regrettable. John Legend has time and again reminded the world how R. Kelly requested to work with him on various occasions, and how he rejected him on each attempt. He says he cannot associate himself with someone like Kelly with his records of abuse and more. Legend says Kelly should have thought well through his actions before he decided to make such grave mistakes as he did. The question remains, why would a man put himself in the position to judge another man like he is sinless himself? I don't know of many men that have not had their own flaws, especially when it comes to their sexual lives. The difference only being that some were never caught and others only involved in minor crimes, whose penalty is nowhere close to life in prison. So when legend comes out to pass on what sounds like holy godly judgment to his fellow artist, one may wonder if he is sinless himself. We are living in a world of sin and therefore a life full of imperfection, and no one should play holy Mary, or feel fit to pass on such judgment to another. Well, this may be or Kelly's turn to get checked, who knows who it will be next. Even the former New York governor, Andrew Cuomo had assumed the role of fighting sexual harassment but when his turn finally came, he was forced to resign, and will never hold another public job ever again in his lifetime. This clearly shows that for as long as one is still living, they cannot rule out the possibility of being the one on the receiving end of such convictions. Especially in this new era, where we are being policed as far as inside our bedrooms, we are now living in a world where even a closed case can be reopened, with the sole purpose of pinning you down. There are simply no limits in what the world can do to you lately, and it's therefore very difficult to stay completely out of trouble. So John Legend better humble himself and remember that Kelly was there before him. Our Kelly is a legend and legends are meant to be respected. John Legend should not be celebrating our Kelly's challenges. According to Monica, it is completely fine for Legend to have his own opinion about Robert Kelly. However, he ought to respect the R&B King going forward and remember that he is his senior. So while he speaks about Kelly, he needs to avoid any sort of mockery or form of disrespect for him. He should know that no one decides to become a felon, you could wake up tomorrow and your hands are cuffed. You just can't tell what's coming next in your life these days. According to Paul, before you have a case, you think the world is in love with you. When it's your turn to be in prison, that's when you realize you are not as popular as you may think. We need to be humble and let the world do the praising but ourselves. Legend once said, for him he became famous when he was well educated and had a good management job. He says Kelly was the opposite. Less education and full of excitement. And that's the reason he is in jail he says. I believe no matter how important to society you may be, 
it's not a good thing to despise others for any reason whatsoever. Whether it's their limited education, or difference in character and preferences. Sometimes it's not really their fault. When you choose to celebrate other people's sadness, you become a sadist. And if you are a celebrity like John Legend, that's not good for the fans. So as you find joy and happiness in people's downfalls, you could be doing your career total injustice. Paulina says, I enjoy John Legend's music and he has been my main man for the past years. I think it is not right that people try to crucify him for the things he said about R. Kelly. He had his reasons just like everyone else is free to have their own opinion. And this business of saying his music ain't good enough simply because he is on the other side is completely uncalled for. We need to learn to allow everyone to exercise the right to their opinion. I love Kelly too but perhaps not enough to rubbish everyone that stands up against him. And we must admit our Kelly is no saint either. He made many mistakes, and for this reason, he is in prison. All we should do is pray for him and advise him on what he can do to regain his freedom, since that is what he needs the most at the moment. The R. Kelly case has raised multiple questions as to whether it is still possible to have trusted friends. People you can rely on to stand with you even amidst the most trying moments. This is because Kelly, having been the big-time celebrity that he is, actually worked with and promoted very many other artists. But when the time came and he was in trouble, no one talks about a good R. Kelly. Instead many came up to disgrace him the more. This is the reason his diehards like Akon are much respected. Defending R. Kelly does not necessarily mean we disclaim the hurts people could have gone through on his account. What's important to understand is that indeed like Akon suggested, reconciliation is a viable option. It's much better than mudslinging. Isn't it? R. Kelly may be in prison as of now, but this does not make him any less a man. Even in prison, the R&B legend deserves his respect, and therefore, critics ought to go slow. R. Kelly will not be in jail forever, he will be out and haters will probably hide underground. If you wish to take part in a live interview discussing any of these topics, let us know by sending an email to sashalfnmedia at gmail.com for scheduling. Thank you for watching today's video, a production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.